What's going on Marvel Snap Enjoyers, I am Romek and this is, well, this is what happens when you need to revisit some old evil to beat the new evil. So we have a classic Sauron Shri list, you have seen these two before, they have wrecked the meta for 3 months I think, 3 months the game was unplayable, this was the best deck, it was not the Zabu Silver meta, it was the Shuri versus the people who counter Shuri meta. So yeah, what do we have? We got, we got this boy Sauron, we got Shuri, we got Enchantress because Hawk is still the best deck in the game. And so another deck is also rising which is Master Mold with whatever his name was, Ronan the Accuser. And man, that deck is also looking that it's pretty good too. And this deck has an amazing matchup against all of them, as long as you draw armor early. If you draw armor early, you should be snapping. If you get armor and Sauron and like you have a bunch of ongoing cards in your hand, it's, it's, it's GG. I even put Sunspot in this just because people always tell me, Romek, I do not have Nebula, I can't play the deck. There you go, Sunspot's in there. I'll be testing it with Sunspot, and if you have Nebula, or if you want maybe Kitty Pride, you can play them as well. So that's your replacement for Sunspot, and I get to show off this awesome variant I have. And from the other choices, we have Zero into Ebony Maw, into the Lizard, or whatever. It's a classic Shuri Zero deck, you have seen this way too many times. And of course, Taskmaster is our final pop-off that nobody expects for some reason, unless you're just playing a Shuri and then passing, and then people are like, Oh yeah, Taskmaster, he exists! Otherwise, that's the deck. Let's get into the games. Up against Gilver, he's back apparently. We have a hand consisting of armor, red skull, and typhoid Mary. Lemuria is pretty fine for us, even if we draw like a. Ooh. Guys, it, it's just how I remember it. Somehow I always draw armor into Shuri into Red Skull. It's just it's just how it's just how God intended it to be. I hope we draw Sauron. If we draw Sauron, we just win. Well, you know, sometimes you just gotta perform. Uh, maybe I should have played into the Altar of Death, but nah, I don't know. I don't want to give my opponent any incentives on uh, trying to ramp a lot. Nightcrawler into Zabu. This is the best deck in the game. We're up against Hawk. I just call that deck Hawk, because it's just Dark Hawk and Dark Hawk shenanigans. Mog Fogwell's Gym is the feature location for today. I wanted to wait till tomorrow, but I, I make a video every two days, and today, of course, it was feature location day. Wow, Nebula appears, finally. Took her a while this time. She usually shows up. Oh my god, we drew Ebony Maw, and, and when you draw Ebony Maw, you're cooking, you're great. There is literally nothing the opponent can do, usually. We have Shuri here, up and Adam, that's against Darkhawk. Darkhawk is pretty small this time, I expect usually a way bigger one. Oh my Jesus, we have a lot of stuff to do. If we draw a Taskmaster, we just, we just blow the opponent out of the water. There's literally nothing they can do. Of course he snipes the better one, but... Eh, what can I say? We live with it. She-Hulk is not as good as Typhoid Mary into... Ooh, actually, we can lose here. What can I say? Black Bolt hits the 50-50 as they usually do. I mean, now let's. we can hope the opponent leaves, and apparently it's stopped being unaffected. Let's see. Like, why would they stay here? It's obvious, that, like a Taskmaster or something. No, they don't care. They're gonna continue going into it anyway. But you would lose to Taskmaster, why would you stay? Look, and we had it, the point is we had it, but... Sometimes the opponent just gets lucky and hits the 50-50. The deck would've won, but... Sometimes you just get unlucky and you lose. That is a four cubes lost, and the opponent is the was the best deck in the game. Sometimes they truly have it all, from Darkhawk to... Just Nebula and everything. We would have won this fight, but oh, we always lose the 50-50. That's just how reality is. We didn't even draw Zero or Lizard. Ooh, Fogwell's Gym giving us we our hand consists of Sauron, Taskmaster, Typhoid Mary, and Red Skull. We really are... They always draw at turn one, don't they? And the Vibranium Mines are not that good for us, but they're not e that bad either. We can... We'll play Sauron into Nebula, of course, but outside of that... <sighs> Man, the games are gonna be a pain in the ass today, aren't they? Wow, the opponent... If I draw armor, we're chillin'. 
Like, it's scary how strong we are if we draw armor right this second. We need to draw it right now and we do not draw armor this very second. Of course we don't. Why would we? Our luck is in the negatives. He's the boy still going in. Captain America, Nightcrawler, this probably is the best deck in the game, but I don't know what the boy is cooking. I'm not gonna snap as we don't really know, but is he gonna Professor X mid? Blue Marvel. They'll play anything, won't they? Will he just Shang-Chi me? Ugh. We really couldn't play much of anything. We have a Taskmaster into a zero. I guess it'll have to work. Uh, yeah, that's cool, dude. Anyway, uh, reveal Taskmaster 24 power. That's two cubes for the Shuri Zero player against the Onslaught Blue Marvel Captain <laughs> Captain America Mr. Fantastic. Mm hmm. D it's a deck? I guess it's a deck. I mean, we got two cubes back. I'll take a win. Up against King Fat. Jesus, what a name. Sakar. Watch it bring out Taskmaster like it always does. It always just somehow pops up with Taskmaster, doesn't it? Nebula? No, it's Kitty Pride. Shuri is even worse, probably. I put Shuri as probably the worst thing you can get because she's so integral to combos. Fogwell's Gym is fine. I mean, I can Ebony Maw into zero. I mean, I can zero Ebony Maw right now, but that really lowers my power ceiling. I'll just wait until I can play She-Hulk. Give me some energy locations. Negative zone. Oh man, this isn't going looking good. The fact I can't even play Ebony Maw either just sucks. We didn't even draw Sauron. But... You know... Sometimes you just gotta roll with it. If, I, maybe you should add Wave to this deck. I'm, I was thinking of adding Wave because I'm only seeing the Monkey deck and I've clapped fools with Electro today. Like, it was comical. Like, the entire deck falls apart to one Wave or Electro. I don't understand why people are coping or saying it's, Oh my god, it's so broken! Like, the deck sucks, guys. Don't... Don't give me that. The deck blows. Like, all Bishop, Sarah decks, you just... Put an Electro or Wave in and just on the final turn you you do a wave. You just wave goodbye. Bye! You can't win. Outside of that, we really can't win mid, so we'll just play Typhoid Mary on right. And the opponent probably plays Shang-Chi anyway, so we probably can't win this one. Also, we really need... If we get armor here, I think we, maybe we can actually win. Like, we'll have Pryo probably on the final turn, and we need- and we just forget about mid. Mid doesn't matter, like, Bishop Angela is fine. And I'll open up a cold brew, you guys will get the real ASMR, here you go. Ah, yeah, cracking open a cold one with the boys. That's you, by the way. So, the opponent is- loves to flood mid, and they want to die to Shane. Wolfsbane! Boys will play everything, as long as it's one mana and buffs Angela. Oh my god, like... What the hell? So I just played... Um... I'll just play Taskmaster and that'll be... 7 power. Their Kitty Pride is 10 power, my god. Wave is so needed here. I think we lost this one. I won't retreat, but you should retreat here. Like, there is not much we can do. I maybe should just slot in Wave instead of Sun... Uh, not Sunspot, I guess, I don't know. Enchantress, maybe, but that beats Dark Hawk. You see, guys, you can't really do everything. Like, it's not like my... What's it called? Infinite deck, where it just has all the answers in the world, and actually has a really, really amazing payoff. Like, you need to, like... Oh, no, Taskmaster will actually be... 4 power, because he's losing. Yeah, we'll retreat. I won't int here. There is no point to. Why would I? And the opponent is probably like, Oh my god, what's he gonna do? Nothing, you won. You got it. You gotta scoop it up sometimes. It's a mark of a great player if you know when to retreat. And now responsible Romek will say, Fuck it, let's go and play the real shit. Let's go. Let's snap a little. Let's bring in some cubes. Like, we... 
Uh, we're up against uh, Roman numerals. I have, I can't bother to read right now. Maybe, it, maybe it's MCM like the company. Yeah, the kill. Oh my God, the island of silence is amazing. And if someone corrects me again and says, "Like it's not Isle of, it's not Island of Silence, it's Isle of Silence," you shut, the, you shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. I don't care what it's called. This is probably the worst location we can get. Holy crap, that's bad. Oh, oh hell. Like, that's how, that's all I can say. Oh hell, dude. We're in a mirror match. A mirror match. I didn't expect that, but apparently there it is. Maybe I'll shuri into something, I don't know. Guess I'll sunspot, I guess. Watch him draw a red skull or something. Of course he drew it later, ugh. That is literally the worst card. Ugh, damn. Need to give as much power as I can. This is 7 power. I should probably retreat. I'll scare- I'll try to scare the opponent. Nah, they got it. They they, they have every- Oh my god, I was gonna retreat, but they retreated first. This was hell. The peak literally cracked my spine open. That was the fucking horrible. What was that? I mean, we got a cube. Yay, and I get to rank zero up tomorrow. So, what we're finding out slowly is Wave is way too good not to play in the current meta. Like, Wave clowns on these decks. Just one Wave is basically a hand trap from Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like you when you throw down Draw and Lock Bird in Yu-Gi-Oh and the opponent just has to stop their turn because they can't really do anything. We have an amazing hand though. This is a rare hand W. Man, winning against Mbaku isn't really a... How can I say? It's not gonna really impress the crowd, is it? I'm not gonna throw Ebony Maw because we have Sauron and hit, dropping Sauron later is just a blowout most of the time. Okay, shocker. Is bro farming boosters? You know what? I'm gonna end this game real quick. I'm annoyed. Like, come on. I want to show off a cool game. There you go. Get out of here, dude. There you go. You got your boosters. Go. Yeah, I don't really want to show off games where it's a clown fiesta, but you know, sometimes I'll put that one in just to show that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tolerate or show the people terrible games. I'm only gonna show you the best of the best. Clintar is, eh, it's okay. It's not the best or the worst for us. We have armor into She-Hulk, Sauron, Shri. We have an incredible hand. Yeah, we're snapping here. This hand seems incredible. We have everything we could ever want. Like, if we get Taskmaster... I'm on the moon. Like, Red Skull would be the only thing that's a bit better. Nah, Taskmaster would still be the best. Uh, sure, Goose is... Uh, it's not okay, but I guess we'll have to work with it. Bl cloning Vots is... Like, I should Sauron probably early. What is he gonna play here? Maximus. Oh, what a... I don't know if that was really the best line from the opponent, but... Man, we're gonna go in right here. I'm gonna Shuri into... Typhoid Mary Ebony Maw. Oh, well, actually... Wow, this is just a straight-up controller, huh? Okay, then. I need to just Ebony Maw first, and then Ebony Maw. I need to Ebony Maw into Typhoid Mary. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. Words are hard, you know? Sarah. That will not do it, sadly, for the opponent. We're gonna put up so much power, though. It'll make their head spin. Like, Jesus, look at this power output here. Look, this is a criminal amount. Like, the Ebony Ma is like, this is basically me throwing down an Infinite on mid and saying, Yeah, Cap, go try and get me. 
They have no business staying here. Like, Doctor Doom does nothing here. And if they Sarah into... They can't, uh, they can't Killmonger into Doctor Doom either. Ebony Ma, Lizard, Shang-Chi is perfectly fine. They will probably Juggernaut into... No? No Juggernaut? Silver Surfer, sure. Sarah is not a free drop, they should know that. Four cubes for us. Wow, this was an insane game. We, we showed off why Shuri is still the king of growing big. And even though Goose looked... Like, uh, is it gonna make our a a a day a bad one? We just- we threw literally the infant off mid. That's how powerful this deck can be. We're somehow up one cube from where we started, so yeah, we're- we're going good. It's not the worst deck it could ever be. We're up against some real tryharders today, as they're all playing the either the Darkhawk deck, for some reason infinite, the Attilan is not that bad for us. And, I don't know, all I'm thinking is really, man, Darkhawk needs a nerf, he's in every deck that can run the engine. And I hate that when the game just ends up being a who has more engines, it's like, it's like the old, like the fact it's called good cards, just, just, I'm sorry, I gotta say, it pisses me off, I hate it. It's like that old Yu-Gi-Oh meme of good cards dot deck, this is the best deck, you just run the old, only the good shit, like, it's horrible, it ruins the game. And that's my rant for today. I gotta, I gotta throw it out there. Like, if anyone likes that, I don't know. Up against another Collector Kitty Pride deck. Man, another, uh, my kingdom for a death. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Not a death, what's, what's her fucking name? You know the card, I mean. Oh, my kingdom for a wave. Death. I love how I immediately thought of death when I thought of wave. He's just gonna continue Kitty Pride into Kitty Pride into stuff. Angela. Kitty Pride. <sighs> That's me right now. Holy hell. It, it's always the same deck. There's like no variations. It's just literally always the same deck. And I'm not gonna get a big unit, am I? How do I know? How do I know? <laughs> This time I will actually retreat. I don't care, I'll do it. Enchantress. Into zero, into a straight up retreat, boys. There's no way we're winning. If you can't limit their final turn, you have a horrible matchup. So, my suggestion is slotting in a wave. Oh my god, they just gave me Kitty Pride. Does he know? This is literally that one meme of uh, that one guy just saying like, DOES HE KNOW? <laughs> I mean, we have a zero with the next thing we play, but... No, I don't think I can really win, though, anyway. But, oh my god. Oh my god, no, this glitch would kill someone, like... I don't, <laughs> maybe that sounds stupid out of context, but this glitch could lose you a game? Like, what if you just don't know? Like, what if you forgot? Like, look! Look, you don't know it's affected by zero. And now you do! Like, what? Anyway, we're retreating, we're bang. Bye-bye! You can take that cube of yours. My god, this... Uh, the opponent's deck is so unfun, and... Uh, I mean, it's not that it's unfun, it's just that... It's shit! It's shit! It's shit because wave. I don't want to say it's unfun. I don't think it's that good. I think people are coping. That's really good. Wow, we're we're right back where we started. They, I fought them out. They pulled me back in. Like, and it's only because I decided to not run the wave, as people would always tell me in the comments, "Ramek, you only won because you were playing wave." Yeah, I'm playing it because it's the most, it's the best thing you could be doing against the meta. And the the opponent's name is Bomberon Roma Nine. We have opened Typhoid Mary, She-Hulk in armor, my god, what a... what a hand. If we get Sauron, we're, we're cooking. Like, I'll snap immediately, but... The Quinjet makes me think this is another bounce deck. Yay! It's Hitmonkey season all over again. I'll actually armor his Quinjet, just because it's the Bifrost. I can't really go in here, so yeah. Angela, wow. Incredible. Another deck that just dies to wave on fire. <laughs> I don't know. I think the deck sucks. I have to say it. I think it blows. 
If we get Shuri off the top, there's a chance we, like, blow the opponent out of the water, but... A Kitty Pride. They always open Angela Kitty Pride. Cable. It's the same deck! It's the same deck! There's no variation! It's the always the same list. Like, people are so uncreative! Like, no one's even trying to experiment with something else. It's like, guys, I saw Cozy play this! Yeah! And Cozy's a great guy, but guys, you gotta make your own decks. Cozy's there to show you decks, and then you get an idea on how to build your own decks. Not just be like, Net Deck City. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. I'm literally that one meme of Masahiro Sakura, and he says, No, that's not how you're supposed to play the game. <laughs> I'm basically that meme right now, but I'm so annoyed. Why don't people experiment more? Oh my god, we got Sauron on the final turn. He gonna go brazy! He's gonna go brazy! Aside from him going brazy, I don't really know what to do. I mean, She-Hulk is fine, but otherwise we're kind of... We, our goose is cooked. He's gonna play Bishop, oh my god. He's gonna play my... He's gonna literally throw my mother at me on the final turn. He's just gonna kitty pride right and that wins him the location. We have nothing to do. So, when you know when you've lost, you just gotta scoop it up. We'll play one final game. And as you can see, the bouncy castle and just people playing beast bounce and all that garbage makes me want to pull out my Electro again. And we've gotten like... I've recorded the video, I have gotten three ranks with it. So yeah, Electro is really crazy right now, because everyone just keeps playing Angela with Kitty Pride because everyone got her for free. Which, I get it, but guys, please, a little experimentation never killed anyone. But aside from that, we have an another Angela. You'll bury me with this card, like I hit... Ugh. Oh. Viper... Oh my god. This is pretty good. Zero into Ebony Maw, somehow I'll still lose. Like, somehow they'll still get like 58 power on Angela. We pay zero. Like, look! And you wave and it's over. Like, the opponent just... How do they always have the same collector variant that's rare? Why? What? <laughs> they always have the same fucking one. I don't know how, but they do. I'm gonna... Do I even Typhoid Mary here? This sure, why not? I mean, I'll Typhoid Mary mid and so I can Enchantress her and then... It goes brazy! Jesus, it's always... They, when they don't get Kitty Pride, it's basically... Po it's post-mortem, like, look! You wave and... They implode! It's like, what, Nani? And then they explode into a million chunks. We Enchantress mid, they probably play Shang-Chi anyway, but uh, if they don't, we do just win. We have way too much power right now, like our curve is insane. They're gonna play a Kitty Pride left with something, I bet. They're really gonna gamble on Agent 13 into a Shuried... Huh? I don't want to sound always like... I, I saw a comment that said I always sound like Steve Harvey when he does the huh? Like, but I really am confused. Like, they have 20 power here. Maybe Red Skull is a little overkill, but... What else am I supposed to do? Plus, I didn't soar on yet, so yeah. Red Skull there. Take me home. I won. Somehow. Yeah, you put a lot of power into the collector. Anyway, reveal Red Skull. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of power, guys. And I actually have calculated the odds. I was like, if he gets free cards out of this, I still win. I was like thinking of... What's his name? I was thinking of uh, Nick Fury. I was thinking he's gonna play Nick Fury right. And that's why I played Red Skull left. And wow, it worked out. Nice.
We have won two cubes and we're up one cube from where we started. Truly a progression of all time. But without further ado, let's get into deck edit and let's talk pros and cons of the Shuri Sauron deck. Wow, it appears that Sauron is not the second coming of Christ as everyone is fearing he is just because the evil Shuri will destroy the meta and shatter our, our backs with 24 power red skulls all over again. But I think we should get into the pros and cons and first the pros are this deck has an unimaginable power outage. Like, you, ha you have the quests that are like, win a location with 20 plus power, this is the deck you bring in. It, the amount of power that Shuri just puts in with stuff like Typhoid Mary with Red Skull, and then you just clone that shit with Taskmaster, you can play She-Hulk into Taskmaster, it's still a really nice deck. And I think another pro is, it's consistent, like, aside from me breaking like a Dumbo every game, uh, when you open Sauron into armor, and you just play armor on 2, Sauron on 3, you snap all the time. This deck breaks the opponent with amount of with the amount of power and i think now we should go into the cons and the cons is you die to shang chi like there's no tomorrow if there's no armor you die there is just nothing we can do cosmo cannot protect us anymore because of the nerf to shuri and yeah like cosmo can even mess up your taskmaster there is just not much plays you can do against the things like as you have seen we have only played against bounce apparently since that's apparently the new meta for all the people that don't have wave as if you run wave you just put wave on five and you win but mostly because this deck if you put i think wave instead of sunspot this deck's win rate will jump dramatically because if you just play wave on five you can still play stuff like red skull she hulk Typhoid Mary, or even, maybe even Shuri into Wave is not even the worst play of all time. Oh, and you can even play Zero Ebony Maw and stuff like that if you have drawn your Sauron. So putting Wave into the deck I think is a really good way to ease this into the current meta. As we are apparently are reaching quite a turn 6, throw, out, throw up your entire hand onto the board. And I think another con is... Man, you need to draw Sauron. If you don't draw Sauron, the deck's power output is not nearly as big. That's why I named the deck Sauron Gang, even though it's just the old Shuri deck, as I have taken out Cosmo and put in Sunspot. Make sure, if you have any suggestions for this deck, make sure to tell me in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the Snap Mania.